Greetings all. Let's talk vanilla over the roosters <laughs> screaming across the road here. Yeah, um, it's season. It's season. The vanilla flowers are blooming. The vanilla that we use in our ice cream and our cakes and so on is from an orchid. It is the seed pod of an orchid. The orchid is native to Central America and Mexico. That region of the world happens to have a very tiny little bee that's perfect for doing the pollination work on that orchid. They are very specific to one another. Unfortunately, the bee doesn't seem to want to live in any other part of the world, yet the orchid does. And so we have orchids spread in Tahiti, Madagascar, here in Hawaii, you know, we're all producing vanilla. But anywhere outside of Mexico and Central America, you gotta do this by hand. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no, I'm not very good at it because my f the nerves in my fingers, they're just not as sensitive as they should be anymore. And I kind of crush flowers. It's a little bit hard for me to do things that tiny and delicate anymore. Yeah, eyesight's not that great. So I have to give the job to my partner, Ellen. The vanilla orchids actually are Ellen's business. She asked me for them. She wanted them planted and so on. And has requested that I grow more of them for her. So, uh, so I've been doing that. And, you know, I, so I plant them, take care of them, grow them, blah, blah, blah. But taking care of pollinating for the beans and curing the beans is Ellen's business. And so now that we know it's an orchid, it's the seed pot, <laughs> The bee doesn't live anywhere else that pollinates it. Um, and so all vanilla production outside of the native area is done by hand. It's a hand pollination. One of the reasons that vanilla has become uh, a popular subject today is that the uh, world price of vanilla has soared. Um, I haven't checked for a few weeks, but last time I looked, um, a kilo of Madagascar's vanilla was worth 500 bucks. Um, it's a pretty good price for a farm product. <laughs> and so uh, there's a desire there's a, to, to cultivate. Uh, obviously, Hawaiian organic vanilla is some of the most expensive on earth. It's in another class by itself. And so, you know, it's not hard work growing vanilla. There's a lot of farming operations like milking cows, you know, and stuff like this. It's really, it's pretty vigorous stuff. Vanilla, it's tedious, but it's not difficult. Uh, that'd be the reason that Ellen asked me to, uh, uh, to set this up for her because um, she just didn't think she wanted to work that hard. <laughs> and so it's, you know, more in line with her physical strength and what she can do. And so it is something also to bear in mind, uh, those of you who maybe happen to be out of work, you know, uh, you want to look for something that you can do in the future. Uh, Vanilla is actually a fair retirement project. Um, you know, you got a lot of people who planted Christmas trees and things like that, who are lawyers, you know, or whatever, that they do these little sidelines. Vanilla is a good choice for that if you happen to be living anywhere where the vine will grow. It's tropical. And so, unless you have tropical conditions or unless you have controlled conditions of a greenhouse or something, uh, you know, there's no point in it. But here in uh, Puna, Hawaii, the, the vines put on pretty much about six foot a, a year. Uh, they, they're they very productive here, very vigorous. Um, uh, it's a good, strong crop. Yeah, it will take you, uh, you know, five years or more to get the vines into production. So, um, thinking ahead, <laughs> if you're planning to retire here in Hawaii, there's no time like starting your vanilla farm now. Um, Anyway, so let's have a look at all this. I want to see if I could try to capture the moment. I've had people ask me, can you show me about pollinating vanilla flowers? Trust me, the first attempt may not be one of the best. We will keep trying. And I have more flowers coming all season long here. The vines generally bloom between April and June in this area. Typically May being the main month for flowering. Uh, this year it looks like it's going to be a little late. I have uh, a lot of buds still green that will extend well into June. So we'll keep filming.
Good morning, gardeners. Here we are standing in front of the vanilla orchids, and the vanilla is blooming this morning. Uh, we have uh, my neighbor, Kahoa, is over here. Kahoa, you want to wave into the camera here? Okay. <laughs> Kahoa is here for a class this morning, personal tutoring from Ellen, about how to do pollinating on vanilla orchids. Uh, I think I understand the principle, but my fingers are so numb and beat up that I crush flowers. I crush flowers completely when I touch them, so... Ellen's touch is more delicate, and I think... Uh, right. Well, like you were asking about this one, you yeah. know, being maybe not pollinated or missed. Right. They can look like that, but if they're if the pollination doesn't take, uh, they'll fall off quickly, like like this one right here, which... which um, okay, that, did, that, did, that, that didn't take. Probably didn't take. I won't know until later you know, a little bit later. This one is kind of iffy. It looks like it might not have taken because you can see the color mm -hmm. is still really yellow. And it came off of this right here, so it probably didn't now, take. Now, is that the actual, might be the pod? This is the pod, yeah. Like right here, this one for sure took. And this and this is the pod right there. And, it, and the flower stays on for a couple of weeks. Uh, and then after, falls off. Yeah, then it falls off. As I don't, the pod enlarges, right? You can actually see that pod's getting bigger with a flower hanging in it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, here's the uh, here's the flower that fell off. Flower that fell off. Yeah, so it's kind of the same color. It probably didn't take. Um, okay. Oh, here's one that took. So I know that it's been pollinated. Like, like I don't come out later in the day and go, oh, I missed this one. Mm -hmm. I, I I deliberately mutilate the flower. Um, so I'll take off and a petal, so you know. Y yeah, and also that helps getting into to the the. Uh, to inside to pollinate okay. then, then people will show you they'll, they'll actually slice the whole thing and mm -hmm. peel it back okay. or, or they'll even take off both sides I, I've gotten rid of just and do one side then inside here right right, right in here mm -hmm. there's what looks like a window pane right. so what you'll be doing is, is taking and, and opening up the, the window pane and then pushing the pollen with your thumb. I, I'm going to explain it and then I'll do it. Okay. So you pull it forward, open up the window pane, and then push the pollen back with your thumb and, and squish it a little bit to make sure that the pollen sticks. So you, so you, um, okay, that's the pollen packet. It's the pollen packet, yeah. Can, and can you see that little piece right there? Yeah. Okay, that's the, the window. And sometimes, like I said, it's, it's really clear. So you pull that up mm -hmm. and then just navigate uh, see because now I have to push it back up again because mm -hmm. it fell back and then you just push it in like that and then hold it oh so you you're pulling you pulling it out and then pushing it back in well you're pulling open that that depth. cover whatever there's a little cover in there mm -hmm. and then you just and then that way now the pollen smashed in there um, so I, you, uh, so you lift it. up a cover that protects the ovary of the flower, and then you take the staminate part, the pollen part of the flower, and you press that on backwards and down onto the pestle after lifting a cover that's over it. Not down, but up. You press oh, it up. Oh, it goes up? Okay, yeah, you so press you're pressing it up. up. Uh, okay, to get okay. To, the, to the pestle. Beautiful, Kahoa. You know what this means. If that one takes, you're going to have to come by every morning and do these. Oh, I see another bud spike here, too, on this side. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's another. Yeah, so that's good. These two will be about the same time, so I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, this, this is when it's hard. So you can see how, how there's one, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so when Sharky's, you know, he had twelve beans there. He was just perfect. He got it every time they moved. Oh, yeah. And he yeah. has the magic man touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mark it. So anytime you want to practice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's one, two. And I'll two. slit it from this side. Peel that back, and then 
You have that. There, right there. Oops. Okay, so pull that out. And then push it back in. You're good at explaining that. Like that. Up. Hold it. Let go. Oh, good, it's stuck. Oh, so did everything else. Well, that's all right. <laughs> At least it's stuck on there. <laughs> as long as you're not stuck on it. <laughs> you got a weird looking bean on that vinyl. <laughs> I think we might have to beat it. There. Yeah. And I think I got some pollen on my finger. Oh, yeah, well. I did. I did. I'm you're sure. fertile. Yeah, I'll be fertile. So that's the window under this flap here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll just put that piece of oops. Pollen right there. There. It's tucked in there. There's actually three clusters. There's two over there. I only saw yeah, one. Yeah, here's earlier. one, two. Oh, yeah. A third one there. Yeah, yeah th four. There's two right here. All oh, right. See, I saw yeah. this, this one earlier. Go. I didn't see well, that I one know until why. just now. Because I started peeing on this vine lately after I get out of the car. <laughs> yeah, he jumped out and started on that one. I said, no, the other one. He's like, oh, it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it started blooming. <laughs> Extra, extra nitrogen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Make 